Hi everyone, welcome to AJ Mathematics. Today I am going to discuss direction sense part 2. In part 1 I discussed about the basics and how to solve the direction questions. Now I am going to discuss more in detail. If you haven't watched part 1, please do watch part 1 before part 2. Then you will get a clear idea about the directions. Let's get started. Before entering into the questions, I'll discuss few basics which I'm discussing in part one. That is, we have four main directions. Those are all north, south, east and west. And we also have four intermediate directions. That is northeast, southeast, southwest and northwest. Okay. Now, so if any person faces north, we can imagine we are facing north and north facing person and you are the same. So if any person faces north, our directions will be his directions. This will be the right side of him and this will be the left side of him. So please do remember if any person faces north, we are imagining ourselves there. So our directions will be his directions. And if any person faces south, our right will become his left and our left will become his right. Okay. Next, if a person faces east, right will be downside and the left will be top side. And if a person faces west, this will be the right side and this will be the left side. And we already know that right is clockwise direction, left is anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Please do remember this point. Now here before solving the questions, we need to know a few more important points. Those are related to the shadows. So here see the first point at the time of sunrise. This is the most important point when you are dealing with the shadows sunrise and sunset. The importance of sunrise and sunset is sunrise means the light is in the east. When the light is in the east, the shadow of an object is always toward the west at the time of sunset, which means the light is in the west. If the light is in the west, the shadow of an object should be towards each side. So we know that light and shadow are exactly opposite to each other. If light is in the east, always the shadow will be towards the west side. Next, uh, the third point says, at 12 noon, the rays of the sun are vertically downwards, which means that there will be no shadow. So this is not much important. You won't get any questions related to this. And next point is, if a man stands facing north at the time of sunrise. Okay, now let's take it a man facing north. Now I am taking a man here. He is facing north direction. If he is facing north direction at the time of sunrise, which means the light is in the east. And we already know that if any person faces north, we are imagining we are facing north. And this is the east side, which means that the light is here. So if the light is here, the shadow of an object should be like this. Okay. Now that is his left side and we know that he is not facing person. This is the left side and this is the right side. Okay. So this is the shadow of him that is towards his left side at the time of sunset, which means the light is in the west. Now, for example, if the light is in the west and he is facing north, let us assume and he is facing north direction and the shadow should be this direction. Okay, shadow should be this direction and this is the right side of him. That is it says. So remember these points and keep these points in the mind. Let's solve the first question. Let's solve this question. On evening, when the question is deals with a shadows, we need to be very careful with the terms evening or morning. If it says evening, what does it mean? The light is in the west. Now we need to draw this one whenever you are solving a directions question. Okay, on the top right side, draw this one on evening means the light is in the west side. Now I am taking the light is in the west side. A was standing facing a pole. So here A is the person. Now I am taking a person is here. And this is the pole, let us assume. And the, he is facing to the pole. Okay, and we know that the shadow of an object should be like this and the person shadow should be like this because the light is in the west side. The shadow of the pole fell exactly to his left side. If I am taking he is facing north and the shadow should be this directions, but this should be the right side of him. But the question says 
the shadow should be the left side which means this diagram is wrong so i am taking this diagram to show the possibilities now i am taking uh, other side okay the shadow should the light should be always towards the west because we says evening now previously i am taking a person north facing now i am taking a person south facing okay i am facing a person south facing and let's take this is the pole and the shadow of the pole is this direction and the person shadow should be like this direction okay and the question says the shadow of the pole fell exactly to the left side yes he is facing south direction so this will be the left side of him now the question says in which direction was he facing now in a first case he is facing north but the condition is not satisfied here but in the second case he is facing south the condition is satisfied so answer for the question is south okay hope i am clear let's solve the next question one morning again it says one morning which means that the light is in the east so this is north this is south this is east and this is west now here on one morning says which means that the light is in the east if the light is in the east after sunrise which means the light is in the east nivedita and niharika were talking to each other face to face now i am taking nivedita is here she is facing south i am just assuming that and the niharika is facing north so it says each other face to face if niharika shadow so obviously nivedita shadow should be this direction and niharika shadow is also this direction because the light is in the east now the question says if niharika shadow so this is niharika shadow niharika shadow was exactly to the right of nivedita and we know that nivedita is facing south if nivedita facing south this is the left side of him and this is the right side of him and both the shadows of nivedita and niharika are the right side of nivedita that is the question says so which direction niharika was facing now here nivedita facing south nivedita facing south and niharika facing north now answer for the question is north so i am taking the diagrams for your comfortability either i can also draw it but this looks more familiar see the question here a watch shows 730 so this is the actual clock which shows 730 and in the examination watch uh, images are not given you need to think about it you need to imagine about it if the minute hand points towards east so actually if it is shows 730 minute hand points towards which direction now you need to think about it minute hand points towards south direction and hour hand points towards southwest direction this is the actual direction but the question says if the minute hand points towards east which means actually it is pointing towards the south according to the question it points towards east which means this clock is rotated anti clockwise 90 degrees okay the clock is rotated anti clockwise 90 degrees if minute hand moves towards like this obviously our hand should be moved in which direction will the our hand point so that is the next diagram point now see minute hand points towards east and our hand points towards north east so hope i am clear with this diagram let's solve the next question a watch shows 2 pm this is the actual diagram and this is the updated diagram a watch shows 2 pm if the minute hand points towards northwest so actually minute hand points towards north but the question says if it is towards northwest so if it is towards northwest which means that what we can understand it is anti clockwise 45 degrees is rotated according to the question in which direction will the hour hand point at 6 pm now this is the reference diagram when how the clock should at be at 6 o'clock the clock is at 6 o'clock which should be opposite side so minute hand points towards north hour hand points towards south which means exactly opposite and the question says minute hand points towards northwest so exactly opposite to that that should be south east now answer for the question is south east y is the west of x i already told you whenever you are solving a directions questions these you need to draw 
y is to the west of x which means for x y is to the west side so if i am taking x here this should be the direction of y y is to the west side of x and north of w who is to the north of w y is to the north of w and still we didn't place w here so y is to the north of w is as same as w is to the south of y so if w is to the south of y this is the south of y so the w is here and the next r is to the southeast of y and to the northwest of q who is to the east of w now after the q we have a wh letter so which means that east of q will be sorry east of w will be q so east of w means this is the east side of w so we need to consider q is here and the before point says that r is to the southeast of y and northwest of q which is the northwest of q this is the north of q this is the west of q which means that r should be somewhere in the middle and we need to verify r is to the southeast of y or not yes this is the southeast direction of y so the condition is satisfied now this is the diagram now question is r is in which direction of w so for w this is the east side for w this is the north side so in the middle of these two which means r is north east of w so the answer for the question is north east a person walks 3 km straight from his house the question doesn't say that he is moving to the north or he is moving to the west or south so we can understand that he is moving north so why because we are taking north because e north is the easiest for us to understand and solve because we can imagine ourselves there in the question a person walks 3 km straight so i am assuming that 3 km towards a north direction and he turns right so turning right means this direction how many kilometers he walked 2 kilometers he walked now he is moving to the east direction again he turns right and walks for 6 kilometers so turning right walking 6 kilometers so something like this this is 6 kilometers at this point he takes left and walk for 2 kilometers now as he is moving to the south taking left means our right will become his left and walking 2 kilometers fine then again turns his left walks 3 kilometers now he is moving to the east turning left means towards the north direction that is 3 kilometers it says finally he reaches the destination towards west after walking 2 kilometers to the right so from this point if he is walking 2 kilometers to the right and he got the destination here so finally his destination is here but the question says he reaches the destination towards west but he started here and this is the east side of him okay when we are assuming he is moving to the north initially we got his destination towards east but the question says west which means that we need to reconstruct it so the condition is not satisfied when you are taking he is moving to the north so if we are assuming he is moving to the north initially we got the destination is in east but the question says he is the destination is in west which means east becomes west if east becomes west north will become south so answer for the question is south so if you want you can draw the diagram if you still confused you can comment it now this is one new kind of a question uh, a plus b means a is to the west of b a star b means a is to the east of b a minus b means a is to the north of b given that a star b a star b means what a is to the east of b okay next b minus c so which means that so we can take it b and c like this b minus c means what b is to the north of c so b is to the north of c means we should consider like this next c plus d so c plus d means in place of a and b we should consider c and d c plus d means what c is to the west of d so c is to the west of d means what we should consider like this now the question is point b is in which direction with respect to point d so for point d this is the north direction for point d this is the west direction now b is in north west direction so option for the question is north west so hope i am clear with these questions so in the later videos i will also discuss few more questions in directions So thank you for watching my channel bye bye